Hi guys, welcome to Healy Outdoors. I'm Michael Healy. Today I'm going to be doing some trout fishing and stream fishing for probably creek chubs and stuff like that in a little stream located in New City, New York by Zucker Park. It's in the southern zone of New York. I got my Shoefly Ultralight Rod lined with two pound test. Perfect for the little stream trout, especially in uh, mid-February, which is where we're at right now. It's about 35, 40 degrees. All the snow's melted. We had a lot of rain over the past few days, so the water's running a little high. We're gonna see if we can catch something, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so here's my first spot. I got a little gold right here. I'd say it's about six feet deep, and I fished a stream before in the early fall, and it was kind of slow. A few trout here and there, mainly brook trout. One brown trout, I think I caught here. I've been told it's a pretty good spot. It's pretty. It flows into Lake Lucille, and I'm probably about a quarter mile from it right now, from the headwaters. And this is the deepest pool I've come across. Come across fishing this uh, little stream here. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I've never. I've never caught anything in the pool before because usually I'm fishing from way up there and it's about 20 to 30 foot drop so and I usually fly fish it so it's pretty hard to flick a fly like that getting snagged and stuff and also landing a fish would be pretty hard but now I got my waders on it's my first time fishing the stream of the waders so I'm gonna wade in right here along this shelf where it's kind of rocky and it's also like a little hole here so I gotta watch my step but hopefully I won't fall and if I do I get a little wet oh well I'm wearing waders and we're gonna see if we can flick up there into the white water there and see if we can pull something out of there so stay tuned all right guys so what I'm using are these little mealworms that we got right here and I'm actually standing in the shallows right now and I've already seen a few little tiny fish only like a few inches but they're here so I bet you there's some bigger fish around here trying to eat those. Um, the fish are very slow in the winter due to the cold water and stuff, so they're either really aggressive, the trout are anyway, or they're very dainty. So before using lures, I'm gonna try some live bait. So let's see what we can catch. All right, so the shelf is not exactly the way I imagined it. And the water's a lot higher than it usually is, so I can't exactly wait out there. It's really um, steep. So I'm just gonna try casting from here. Using very little weight, tiny, tiny split shot. Only a few, inch, a few inches above my uh, hook, so I can keep it close to the bottom, the bait that is. Oh, I'm either snagged or I got one, guys. Oh yeah, I got one. Oh, I lost him. Dang. That's a nice fish, though. All right, so there's fish here, that's good. I don't know what it was. I wasn't really sure if it was a fish, so I didn't set the hook properly. I wish I did now though. I got wax worms, mousies, and uh, mealworms that are leftover ice fishing bait. The mealworms seem to be spent, they're turning black and they're all dead, so I don't know how effective they're gonna be, but meat's meat and I'm sure the fish are starving. Cast back out and see if we can get another fish to take this. Two pound test line, it casts like a dream. Another problem is it's like fishing with human hair and it breaks really easily. But it really gets your line out there when you're using light, light lures. All right guys, so I only had an hour and a half to fish from the start. And I probably spent about a half hour at that pool trying to catch that first fist I hooked into. Sorry, I'm pretty tired walking up the steep hill. Um, I came here with only three pools in mind to fish. That I know of that are pretty deep enough to uh, hold the trout for the winter. So I'm not going to try the two others, and hopefully I catch something. But oh man, that's a, that's a climb. But if not, I know there's fish here in the winter. Hooked into one of them, had two bites. So they're here. Just gotta keep trying and fool them into taking your bait. All right guys, so what I got here now is a nice little waterfall right here. For the little pool, probably about two and a half feet deep, maybe three max. 
But in the fall, this is where I had my best luck catching trout. This is where I caught the brown trout. I've caught a good amount of brook trout here too. So let's see how it is for wintertime fishing, shall we? Start casting across it. Sometimes some big ones hanging out in the middle. Oh, I got them. Oh, I lost them. Got him. Lost him. Dang. Gotta let him swallow it. Now he's on there. Let him take it. Got him. Ooh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Can't see what it is, really. Looks like a brown trout. And it's a nice one, too. Pretty awesome. Nice little brown here. Let's get to a place to land them. Still fighting a little bit. <clears throat> Landing the fish here. Got a nice seal skin waterproof gloves. Gotta pull them off close to me, gently. Gonna wet my gloves first. Nope. All right, here he is. Nice little brown trout. New City, New York. Winter brown. All right, here's our winter brown trout. Gonna pull him back in the water here. Facing him upstream. Cooper aiding him. There he goes, off he goes. It's awesome. Gotta love winter fishing. Oh, got him. Oh, it's a little creek chub. These are pretty common here. I took my glove off because I was worried it was gonna be damaging the fish. means my hands are going to be getting cold. Oh, had a bite. Lost him. I'm going to move back down here around this pipe. This way I'm not getting snagged or fish wrapped up on it. Got him. Another nice trout. Looks like a brook trout. Now what I love about catching brookies here is that these are all native brook trout. They stock brown trout in here, but not brookies. So any brook trout you catch here are native to here. All right, he's ready. Got a trout right now. Oh, yeah. They seem to have swallowed the hook. Yep. Swallowed the hook. The hooks don't get big in there. Yep. The browns are pretty big, though. They usually grow to the size of the body of water they're in. All right, release him back. There he goes. How'd you make out by that pool down there? I had one fish and I lost it. Yeah? Couple little, I hooked into a little tiny three inch something. I think it was a uh, river chub. Yeah. All right, we got another fisherman here. I'm letting him borrow the hole. All right, here's the last pool, pool we're gonna try before I gotta go. I just talked to someone here, the fish is here a lot, and he said you gotta be very quiet. And the fish will even hear your uh, twig snap under your feet and swim away. 
Supposedly there's some big ones in here. I ain't never caught one, but nice 15, 14 inch brown trout. Rookies don't seem to get much bigger than uh, 12 inches, but brown trout seem to get pretty big. Alright guys, I tried that last pool for about 5 minutes, not even, because I really got to go. So, um, caught two nice trout. And yeah, so thank you very much for watching Healing Outdoors. If you liked it, please subscribe. All right, here we go. We got Jake reeling in a nice trout. It's a really nice trout. Don't horse him. Don't force him. Let him run. Let him pull. Let's loosen up the drag a little bit. I'll let him pull. It's a nice brown. All right, you can reel him up a little bit. I have to pull him too hard. All right, Jake, come here. Walk towards the water's edge. Let him run. He wants to run, let him run. All right, come here, Jake. Walk up a little bit further. It's a nice brown. Yeah, he's a fighter. Yep. Just gotta let him pull a little bit. Tire himself out a little bit. Gotta keep tension, all right. I'm going to see if I can pull him in. Oh, no, nope, he's not ready yet. It's a nice brown, dude. Awesome job. Nice yeah. fish. Can I get next fish, Michael? Yep. All right, reeling faster. Here, you know what? Should we go pull him down here a little bit? Actually, no. Right here's fine. Let's get my feet wet a little bit. Dude, I got to so grab it. Wet your hands before you touch a fish, guys, always. Nice job, Jake. He's a fighter. Yep. Right, Jake, I'm, fortunately, I can't let you hold him. Can you take some pictures of him? Wait, why not? Alright, we're just going to gently put him back. Why can't we eat him? Because this way he'll be here. For us to catch again someday. Hopefully when he's bigger. Oh, my feet are wet. Oh well. Awesome I job, said. Jake. High five. Oh. High five. <laughs> awesome. Alright, so here we are at the other pool. Looks like a lot of people have been down here. Don't know if they've been fishing it, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. <laughs> got him. Oh, I lost. Oh, I got him. Nice little fall fish or river chub. All right, guys, it's time for us to head out. We caught two fall fish uh, or creek chubs. I don't really know the difference. If anyone can advise me on the difference, that'd be great. Uh, we didn't get any trout, though. We fished for about 45 minutes with nothing but those two little fish. So that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching Healy Outdoors. And if you liked it, please subscribe.